Alright guys, what's up? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize or have the best stream lab settings for streaming in 2023 with no lag. Alright, let's get right into this video. Alright, there we go. So first off, let's start off with stream. Now, what are you connected to after you're connected? Boom, you're done. Just click on whatever profile you will be streaming on, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, or anything else. Now, first thing we're gonna go on to is output. Now, automatically, you do not want this on simple, you want this on advanced. Now, put this on advanced, and for your in quarter, make sure Twitch VOD is off. For your in quarter, make sure it is, um, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure it is an MVNC new. Or if uh, Invic New is popping up, do NVIDIA. But usually, whenever you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, it's just going to pop up as software X264. Then, for uh, what you want to do is for your next thing, enforce streaming service in quarter settings, you want to turn that on. And then for your rate control, CBR. Now, right now, I have 28,700 um, uh, bit rate, which I need to change usually you would want to hire it depending on what type of pc you have only if you're streaming on youtube now if you're streaming on twitch just put this on 6000 bit rate because that's the highest it can uh twitch can uh record but if you are on youtube then try to then you would want to make it higher but it also needs to be equivalent to the internet uh you have so today I'm not making a video on that, but there are videos out there at the time that you guys can watch to do that. Your for your keyframe interval, you want it to be two. For your preset, you want it on max quality because you want you want depending on your PC. So if you have a lower end PC, then try to do performance or quality. But if you have a really good PC that can handle a lot, go for max quality. This is the best option you can go for right now. For your profile, you want it, it's probably going to be on, I think, baseline or main, but you want it to be on high. Your GPU, zero, max frames, uh, B frames, two. Now, for your audio, this is very simple. This is how I set mine up. Uh, I put the highest for the best uh, sound quality for my audio, 48 kilohertz. And then for this, I want it to be on stereo just so it can fully hear my voice perfectly. Now I don't I don't know why I have this. This is a uh, this is kind of irrelevant at the moment. This doesn't really matter to me too much. This is if you're trying to. I use this second one to play music in the background of my streams, whenever I'm feeling uh, it. Like see, I'm streaming and I'm just playing the game, and it's nothing competitive. Usually I just turn on music in the background and I can connect it to my speakers and control the volume. But what you want to do for your desktop audio, you want to put your headphones, whatever your headphones are connected to. Because that's what, what the your uh, the desktop audio is what your stream, your viewers are going to be listening to while you're playing the game. And then uh, mic, uh, you just want to put that as your microphone, nice and simple. Now for this, I have them both on 1920 to 1080. So my stream, so this is going to, my output resolution, so what my uh, stream is seeing, they're going to have an option to put that on 1080p to 60 FPS. Now, it doesn't matter. You can do, uh, I think, yeah, 128, oh, uh, 1280 to 720. That's pretty much the same thing. But if your PC can handle it and it's completely fine, then I recommend uh, 1920 to 1080. That's what I use. So, And then this it's also the same option here. If you don't have the best PC, just go to 720 on both. But if you have a good PC, just go to 1080. It's really the same thing. It's just, you know, it's just a higher number. So now for this, for your FPS, I always, no matter what PC you have, I mean, if your PC is on the very low inside, just put it to 30 FPS. But if your PC can handle 60 FPS in game, then just put it at 60 FPS normally. You want this on common FPS values at all times for FPS type. And then for downscale, uh, downscale filter, I completely recommend if your PC can handle it land coast is sharp and scaling 32 samples this will make it so you're streaming so you're recording 
or whatever you're doing will be like sharp. It, there won't be as many uh, blurs or cuts. Now, if they can't handle it, just go to 16 samples. It's not much of a difference. It's just going to be more compatible for the PC that you have. Hotkeys, I don't really use hotkeys personally. I just open up Streamlabs and start my stream, uh, etc. For advanced, process priority, always high. I, that's, I completely recommend high, 100%, 100%. Um, video format. This is what I have. I'm not. I don't really work do video format that much. I don't pay attention to it. Now, um, let me see. Stream delay. You want to enable this and put zero seconds, and put preserved cut off point. Increase delay when reconnecting. This will help so much. Your delay will have uh your stream will have less delay. It will be way perfect. And you don't want you don't want your retry delay too high in case your stream uh, disconnects and it needs to reconnect don't do it too high or too low because it could mess it all up maximum retries just make it 20 you don't want to like overheat your pc but my retry delay is 10 that's what i recommend i feel like you should do that now for notifications always enable your notifications and have these two on on the same settings i don't really know what this is but this will if you put detect drop frames that help you a lot to know if your stream is glitching out or it's not but with the settings that i'm giving you right now that won't happen it shouldn't happen at least uh, you should definitely be performing very well if you if i if you're using the settings that i'm giving you and i'm recommending everything for you now for the rest game overlay all that that's nothing it's nothing uh, important to me now let me see always press confirm stream title and a game before going live you always want a new title whenever you're going live trust me it'll attract the viewers it won't be the same lame thing that you always do now I'm trying to find okay let me see I think that might just be all uh, for recording simple just put it on standard uh, put it on the file that you want your recordings to go to and that's it you just want your preset on max quality have your profile on high and you should be good in that department now I don't think that there's anything else here that I can help you guys with for this video but for in general I think I've covered most of it uh, these settings will definitely help your stream with no lag in 2023 I do recommend it sorry guys I also forgot to mention if there continues to be lag after all of the settings that I recommended you all you have to do all right I'm sorry let me remove this goal right here all you have to do you need, I promise you, this will help so, so much. You need to set your Streamlabs as an administrator. Now, if you uh, right-click on Streamlabs and then right-click Streamlabs again, it says run as an as administrator. If you do that, it'll run as an administrator, but you have to keep on doing it continuously. So what you want to do, you want to click on Properties. You want to go to Advanced click run as administrator press ok apply boom and you'll never have to touch that ever again and that will completely fix your stream settings and if I haven't said it already don't forget to drop that sub button turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next one